In this section of this video, I will show some basic effects that you must know well. If you do not know the proper configuration of these effects, you will waste your time searching for perfect audio. In my audio consultancy career, I saw many people who applied these effects blindly without understanding what these effects do. You do not need to understand these at a very technical level. But you should be able to tell what each effect does and what change it is going to make on a particular piece of audio. Otherwise, you will waste your time searching for the perfect solution for your audio issues. We will see some of these effects in detail and all of them are covered in my Audacity courses. The first audio effect you should apply is the normalize effect. There are mainly two reasons behind this. Normalize can make the volume level ideal for many platforms and can reveal underlying audio issues in a recording. For example, the audio you see here is a raw recording. Let's play it for a couple of seconds. Audacity is a free audio recording and editing software. And I recommend to use Audacity as a uh, early software. I recommend using Audacity. You can see the volume level is quite low. However, the recording level conforms to the ideal recording level. But if we compare the loudness with the current narration, it seems quite low. Normalize effect can help us to solve this low volume issue. I will select everything inside the track by double clicking. You will find normalize under volume and compression. Normalize is a volume controlling effect. Please keep in mind that normalize is used mainly for volume control. We will need this information later. You can see the configuration box for the normalize effect. If you mess up any effect settings in Audacity, you can go back to the default settings easily. From factory presets, select defaults. There are three things to configure for normalize. I will keep the first and third settings to their default value. I will only configure this input box. We can set a value for the peak amplitude in this input box. There is a standard value for the peak amplitude, and I will share that shortly. But what is peak amplitude exactly? Peak amplitude means the loudest point of your selected audio. I had the whole track selected, so the peak amplitude would mean the loudest point of the entire track. The theory may sound complex, let's see what it practically does. The current configuration of peak amplitude is minus 1 dB. I will apply this setting. You can see the waveform has grown vertically after applying normalize. This vertical growth has affected every part of the audio. You may also notice the silent parts are showing something on them. The normalize effect has helped to reveal some anomalies that were not clearly visible before. We can use the visual confirmation to make our audio clean. I will undo this normalize effect as the peak was set as minus 1 dB. The standard value for peak in normalize is minus 3 dB. I applied the default settings to show you what normalize does. Now I will normalize to a proper value that we should use in most cases. You should be aware that the maximum allowed value is zero. Because zero is the maximum in these meters. No positive value is allowed as the peak amplitude. Trying to set a positive value will disable the controls. I will set the peak amplitude to minus 3 dB. If you are totally new to the audio editing, you may not know it yet. Minus 3 dB as the peak is a commonly accepted value. Different platforms may recommend different values for the peak, but minus 3 dB is a safe value for most platforms. I will apply this setting. We can see the waveform grew in height. In other words, the volume level has increased. If we listen to the audio, we can hear it at a much louder volume. Audacity is a free audio recording and editing software, and I recommend to use Audacity as a uh, early software. I recommend using Audacity. You may think that the normalize effect increases the volume of the recording. Well, that is not the case. Normalize can also decrease the loudness. You must understand when normalize can increase volume or decrease volume. I have another recording sample on the screen. The peak of this waveform is clearly distinguishable from others. I will play these parts separately and notice where they hit the meter. I will not output the audio, so pay close attention to the meter during playback. This part is hitting around minus 15 dB in the meter. The abrupt high peak is hitting zero in the meter. In other words, the peak is at the highest it can be. Before applying the normalize effect, think about what will happen if I normalize to minus 3 dB. The peak is currently at 0 dB as we saw just a bit ago. If I normalize to minus 3 dB, then it would mean a 3 dB decrease for the peak. Pay attention to this. The peak will decrease by 3 dB, so the volume will decrease in this case. This 3 dB decrease will happen everywhere in the audio. In other words, with normalize, the peak and other audio get the same amount of increase or decrease. If the peak is increased after normalize, every part of the audio increases by the same amount. If the peak decreases, the same thing happens with the other parts of the audio. 
I will apply a minus 3 dB normalize to this audio. Previously you saw an increase in the volume level. For this audio, you will see a decrease. You can see the waveform shrank. If you check the peak, it will hit minus 3 dB as I set in the normalize settings. Understanding this fundamental concept will take you a long way in audio editing. If I play this part, it was around minus 15 before normalize. As this audio got a 3 dB decrease, it is now hitting around minus 18. To solidify our understanding, I will do another thought exercise. The current peak is minus 3 dB. If I normalize again to minus 1 dB, what will happen? You should pause the video and think about it. If you feel confident, please write a comment where the audio will be louder or quieter after minus 1 dB normalize. I will apply the minus 1 dB normalize. The waveform grew this time. If I play the peak, it will hit minus 1 dB in the meter. Before the second normalize, the peak was minus 3 dB. After normalize the peak is minus 1 dB. That means a 2 dB increase in the overall audio. Understanding how the normalize effect works is crucial to achieving your goal in audio editing. You should try with different values in your recording and check how your audio is affected. The key takeaway is you should normalize your raw recording to minus 3 dB. The volume may increase or decrease depending on the peak you had before normalize. If it increases, then okay. If it decreases, then you have to take some special measures. We will see eventually if the volume decreases after the first normalize. For me, the volume level increased in this recording. It also revealed some noises after normalize. I can see some noisy bits better and can delete those to clean up the audio. These noises are mouth noise or breathing noise or unintended noise made during recording. To remove some constant noise, Audacity has an effect called noise reduction. We will see the details of noise reduction in the next section of the video.